What up, Steve? Just going through these videos from Sunday, okay? So, during this poll, man, it's going to be very important that, you know, we stay balanced, we stay low, and we also keep the tension in our ankles, okay? So, oftentimes, we want to just kind of push right into the ground with the feet, but I need you to stay on your toes. And notice kind of the aggressive stretch that we're placing on the calf and the ankle when we try to drive the heels into the ground. So we want to stay on the balls of the feet while we're doing this. And But it's very important that we stay balanced, okay? So stay on your toes, lean forward, and make sure that we're nice and nice and balanced, man. And um, you're just going to get better with this with practice. And believe it or not, this is probably going to help your tire flip out too as well because it's going to help bring the build the ankle and the calf as long as we're staying on the toes we're leaning forward and we're focusing on staying balanced man uh we'll go with this i think it's the first or second time that you've ever done this so this is pretty damn sweet dude and uh the best way this is built is just practice man and um just consistency These yoke squats, just make sure when we're tracking our data here that we're writing in kind of the height. Um, I think this is, that was 52, I think this was at 50 inches, so just make sure that you make a note of that. And with this, it's going to be very important that that bar and that weight is directly over the midfoot, okay? It's going to be a fine line between being balanced and not being balanced, okay? We want that thing to go straight up, okay? There should be no deviations. So, notice your start position here on this one, okay? Right, well, so I'll stop it there. So that's pretty much your start position there. And let's uh, take that as a reference point in the bottom of that. kind of notice so it comes up and now we'll look at this as our start point All right. and it's like the deadlift man notice how that bar is slightly in a different position, all right? And we want to make sure that that body is perfectly balanced, okay? Any deviations from balance is going to cause shifting forward, because notice how it kind of goes forward first. That's because you're a little off balance. <clears throat> we want to make sure that thing is directly in the middle of the body, and because that's how it's going to go up man that's how this is going to go up it's going to be a fucking pain in the ass to get this completed correctly and to stay safe too as well so reset your feet regather yourself before you do each lift and fucking hit it hard man keg loads <clears throat> got that 180 up man that's almost body weight that's pretty pretty impressive so you know, those two styles of, of picking it up off the ground, the style I showed you is very uh, back saving. And the other style is the kind of the style that Alan did, which is kind of a flat, flat keg. But after you bring it up, you know, you want to keep the elbows fairly high. And you want to get it in the nook of your arm and squeeze it. So, if the hands are... So if the elbows, if you try to be exactly 180 away, notice how the nook of your arm is going to be kind of over here. Now if you bring it higher, you're going to be able to get the nook of your arm because the distance from here to here is going to be a shorter distance than from here to here. So that's why you'd want to bring the arms up a little bit higher and then that way you'd be able to lock your elbows into position a little bit better and just 
kind of notice how it slides out. In that position there, if we start in that position, lock the arms in a position and keep it high on the chest, then we're going to be able to keep it nice and high on the chest to get it up onto that platform in. But all in all, this was a pretty, pretty nice day. And you should be pretty happy with yourself, man. Alright, so I'll go for you. I'll see you later this week.